Good morning. Thank you for the kind introduction. It is my great honor to be invited as a speaker in ECIO 2022. But I'm very sorry I couldn't participate in offline because of still quite serious condition of Omicron here Korea. The organizing committee requested a lecture with the following learning objectives. Firstly, understand the technical difficulty and potential of hepatic dome. Secondly, no possible options for accurate targeting in hepatic dome. Finally, how to avoid liver dome complications of thermal ablation. Objectives are clear and simple, but As you know, the reality is quite complex. Because of time limitation and considering the original purpose of this video session, I don't want to cover all the technical tips for hepatic dome ablation by dictated manner. So I will just introduce how I ablate the hepatic dome tumor as a daily practice by showing several short video clips. I will be very happy you can understand how to approach the liver dome lesion for percutaneous ablation in Asian countries. Ablation is accepted as one of the curative treatments in the most HCC treatment guidelines because of proven excellent outcomes and minimally invasiveness. What does matter for successful ablation? There are several well-known tumor factors including size, location, conspicuity, and aggressiveness. Moving on tumor location, subcapsular, perivascular, perihyla, sophrany. Today, I will focus on sophrany liver dome lesion. Why hepatic dome lesion matter in percutaneous ablation? Because it is difficult to go there without any proper preparation. Just think about climbing to the Himalaya mountain. Why difficult? Because the target is often unclear due to overlapped lungs and lips, and there will be high potential of collateral thermal damage to the adjacent diaphragm. Invisible lesion can make inaccurate placement of electrode, resulting into incomplete ablation, as well as unwanted thermal injury to the diaphragm. Accurate placement is essential for complete ablation to compete with more curative surgical resection. Furthermore, the safety should be always first, especially considering minimally invasive procedure. More tough things is to balance between complete and safe ablation. So we have more smart strategy to catch those two rabbits together. What are the available technical options for accurate targeting? It will be divided according to guiding modality. Unfortunately, I don't have enough experience on CT guided ablation like many Asian doctors. For ultrasound guidance in most Asian countries, we can use position change, semi-erect or RAO, fusion imaging, contrast lens ultrasound, especially with the sonazoid, or artificial fluid, including ascites or effusion. For avoiding thrust complication, there are two choices. If you decide to do thermal ablation, you have to use assistant techniques with artificial ascites or pleural effusion. Or uh, you can ablate more conservatively with lower power or the electrode placement a little bit away from the diaphragm. If you decided not to do percutaneous thermal ablation, you can try non-thermal ablation using cryo or ILE, or you can take alternative approach such as laparoscopic or open intraoperative ablation. You can also consider many other alternative treatment options, including TACE or RT, and sometimes even resection. It is very difficult to stand up at the summit of Everest. However, there are variable solutions for any difficulty. There are many data proving the benefit of various solutions for hepatic dome lesion in the literatures. However, there is uh, no sufficient evidence which solution is better than the others. 
I don't think there is a best way to the Everest. I think we don't need to try all the way to the Everest like a puja. If you choose one or two ways depending on the condition of your own institution and experience, and we do any method in a right way, I think the outcome may be not so much different. Today, I will show you just one of the ways to ablate hepatic dome lesion which is widely used in Asian countries. Actually, this is the key slide summarizing my protocol for hepatic dome ablation. For the old patient referred to ablation, I do plenty ultrasound on semi-erect position with fusion imaging, almost always ultrasound with EOB MRI. If the lesion conspicuity was still inconspicuous after fusion imaging, we add contrast lens ultrasound with the sonazoid to clearly localize the index tumor. If the index tumor was still invisible after CUS application, we give up percutaneous ablation alone and refer to IL colleagues for combined taste plus ablation simultaneously. I guess this proportion is about 10%. So let me show you a couple of video clips on how I do it. Please enjoy it. A jagged metronome of typewriter keys A simple thought brings you to me and I'm thankful every day I'm so glad I found you the old fashioned way in a time when we want it all everything so fast better text I Jagged metronome of typewriter keys. Another page done. 
네, 조금 뻐근해요. 조금 뻐근해. 네. 괜찮으실 거예요. 네. 숨을 살살 쉬세요. 숨 쉬고 숨을 조금 들이마시고 그대로 잠깐만 그 상태 숨좀 참으세요. 조금 아프죠? 쉬지 마세요. 예, 숨 쉬세요. 잘하셨어요. 네. 쉬세요. 예, 자, 여기 제가 꺼즈 좀 붙여드립니다. 예, 잘하셨어요. 
glad I found you the old fashioned way. In a time when we want it all, everything so fast, the better takes no time. <laughs> Jumping. I'll write to you if you think from me. Jagged metronome of typewriter keys Another page done My soul at ease And I'm thankful every day I'm so glad I found you The old-fashioned way I'm so glad I found you the old-fashioned way.